Hello friends, it's me, Genuine Coder. This is the second video in the Java multi-threading video tutorial series. And in this chapter, we will see an example where the application would not work properly without a thread. I mean, this is one of the reasons why it is mandatory to have multi-threading in your Java application. So let us start by creating one GUI based application, a simple application. You do, if you don't know how to create GUI in Java, don't worry. This is going to be a very simple tutorial. So I'm going to create a new GUI frame using this new JFrame form and I'm going to name it as thread requirement that is the name of a chapter so we'll see why we need a thread so what i'm going to do actually is i will read a number the user has given from the text field so for that i need a text field and when he press on a button we will do some certain action so uh, just hang on i need to name this as calculate sum and let me remove this text by pressing f2 and you can also that do that by any text and i have to give a variable name for this component i'm going to name the component variable name as input so what i'm going to do exactly is i will type in some number here like this one then when i calculate sum i will calculate the sum from zero to this much this number what i'm trying to do is i'm going to emulate a CPU intensive process that will take some amount of iteration to complete. So I have this input, calculate some. So let us do the code here. So first what we have to do is we input a number here. I have to take that number to some form of variable. So I'm going to create a long variable and I'm going to name input number. Then what I'm going to do is from the input I'm going to pass that one. So uh, the variable name the text field name was input so from there i am taking the text the text is a string i have to convert that string into a long number so that can be done using long dot pass long so basically what i'm doing is i'm converting string to a long now that i have the long number i need a variable for storing the sum so i'm setting the sum to zero then this is a uh, type conversion error zero is an integer and some expect a long value so if you add a one l at the end then it is type casted so i'm going to create a for loop a simple for loop with i equal to zero and i less than input number so if i type in a billion in the text field here it will iterate from zero to one billion so what i'm trying to do is i'm going to create a cpu intensive task here so sum equal to let me make it easier sum equals sum plus input number so so far so good then what i will do is i will show a message when it, the operation is complete so j option pane dot show message dialog and here you can just give any string that you want to show to the user so sum equals sum so we type only this much code this is i hope this is simple let me just run this program right now and if i type in like 5000 then calculus calc sum the sum of numbers from 0 to 5000 is this much i don't know how exactly so if i increase this then the cpu will take some time to iterate through all of this see the sum is this much big number so i am keep on adding the number and as you can see right now the program is stuck it's stuck for a moment then finish and if i add one more zero then you could see that the program is no longer responding this is because we are doing the costly calculation within the main thread and the thread is not able to update the ui correctly right now so this is like a not responding situation so if any program you see like not responding in windows that is because it is handling the ui operation in the thread and the ui is no longer responding so if you create an application like this and it does this much big task on main thread it will cause to it it will cause a crash or not responding in your system so it is mandatory that we do this kind of costly cpu intensive calculations in another thread so 
in this program right now there is no way to handle it even if i press the close button it is not closing because the code to close the application is also has to be run in the main thread and it is busy with this calculation so un until the calculation is over we can't even close it if i expand it the ui redraw is not happening so it is completely crashed so in order to fix this problem in this situation there is no other way except use a thread so what i wanted to show you in this chapter is the requirement requirement of the thread so let me close the application as you can see it is using only 17 percentage of the cpu uh, but it is not responding so let me just close that java platform library okay now if i want to fix this problem i have an easier way using thread so let me just fix the problem without explaining what i'm doing because we will talk about creation of thread and all in upcoming chapters so for now i am just doing like this i am creating a thread you don't have to worry about it if you don't understand this because we will explain this thoroughly i'm just doing this to show you that this will work with threads i mean the problem will be solved with threads okay if i run this program now this much portion will be running on a separate thread okay enough uh, talking let us run the program and let me type in like uh, this much so calculate some and as you can see right now in the background it is calculating but the ui is not stuck let me show you that again calculate sum the thread is running in the background but the ui i can type in new numbers etc so it is not stuck because now right now the ui thread is free and the costly operation is done by another thread we will come back to this example in a later time so for now this is one of the requirement for multi-threading so thanks again for watching this video i will see you in the next chapter